Tinder. With an estimated 50 million users, it's one of the most popular online dating apps among young people. Simple and shallow, are we swiping for love or a one-time hookup? When we rely on our smartphones to interact with each other, is the art of simply saying hello lost forever? <laughs> oh, oh. Got a oh match, baby. I did actually get like mildly catfished once. Maybe to a restaurant because I do like a free meal. <laughs> it's quite funny talking about it actually. So on Tinder, I usually look for attractive girls close to me. What would you rather do, piss yourself once a week in public or shit yourself daily in private? Treat me like a pirate and give me that booty. I lost my teddy bear, will you sleep with me? Well you raising a chicken farm because you sure know how to raise a cock. What a disgusting man. We went to Birmingham City University to find out who's using Tinder and for what purpose. What do you think people are looking for when they use Tinder? Sex. As for females, I think they use it as a kind of fun, but also a kind of like ego boost sometimes. Um, as for boys, I don't know, I think they're a bit more horny. I don't think their intentions are necessarily like genuine and like out there to find like a soulmate or anything. They're just there for other things. I thought obviously Tinder's quite easy if you're looking for, uh, or just looking for someone to chill with or whatever. Um, but I sort of hope that that isn't the future of uh, dating because meeting people face to face is way more effective. Uh, but obviously people do meet and they're having a good time. Uh, well, this guy went to BCU. I um, was trying to avoid him all day and then he started <laughs> waiting around for seven hours for me until I finished. And then well, he kind of got pissed at me because I said I don't want him to come around. And then, because I felt bad, I said that he could come around and then he started licking my face and biting my face <laughs> because he wanted to kiss me. Looking for love is student Kelly, whose past experiences with Tinder haven't been successful. She's hopeful that her recent match is the one. I don't know what to wear. I might wear this with a long sleeve under because it's a bit cold outside. With a pair of jeans, maybe some boots. I'm not too sure. I don't want to go too over the top. I just want to go simple but nice, cash, simple so he is attracted to me. <laughs> I don't mean to sound a bit vain, but you know what I mean? First impressions do count. I don't think there's a problem with people using Tinder. I mean, it's the new thing in this generation, social media, internet. It's a new like dating world. Even though they are strangers, everyone's a stranger to each other at one point in their life. I mean, before you get with someone, you don't know that person. You get to meet them, get to know them, and then you go on dates with them and you eventually be with them. I just hope he's what I expect him to be. He's, he's attractive, he looks attractive for his picture, so fingers crossed. Um. Wish me luck, guys. So on Tinder, I usually look for attractive girls close to me. Regular Tinder user Fraser has plenty of experience in the world of online dating. The 20-year-old bachelor might not be looking for love, but makes use of the instantaneous nature of the app. Um, I think people use Tinder to, if they're bored, just to like, flick through, talk to people. Um, I think there's lots of different reasons why people use Tinder. Some people would just use it to find maybe a girlfriend, boyfriend, um, go on dates, just casual fun, I think, usually. One story from Tinder, um, I did actually get like mildly catfished once. Um, so she didn't really look anything like her pictures. Um, so I went, to, I went to go meet her. Um, saw that she didn't actually look anything like her pictures and uh, unmatched her in. My general opinion on Tinder is it's quite fun, it's like quite a good app. Um, obviously there are risks 
um, for like people using it. Like obviously you don't really know who you're talking to, um, especially younger people. Like obviously if I was a parent, I don't think I'd want my younger children using it. Um, I think it's definitely something that should be regulated for age, maybe like 18 plus. I'd say Tinder is like a stepping stone in the right direction for like future dating, um, but for me, I think it's still better to just go and talk to someone um, on the street or something. Like if you find someone attractive, just go up and talk to them rather than meet them on a site like that. Kelly is back from her date. We caught up with her to see how yeah. it went. It went all right. Oh gosh, she just texted me. What did I think of the date? <laughs> Don't know what to say. He's a nice guy, but it's just, it was so dry. The conversation, there was no conversation at all there. Like, he... I don't know. I don't think I'll... I don't know. Tinder is a funny way of finding people, but I think I might just stick to the old-fashioned way and find people in person through friends, through mutual friends. I don't know. Um, I mean, it works for some people, but I guess it hasn't worked for me for the second time. Although Kelly didn't find love, young couple Hannah and Rob are one of the many brought together through the app. Okay, so we met in February on Tinder. Um, <laughs> it's quite funny talking about it now, actually. Yeah, because, um, so like, I kind of introduced myself because I noticed that she likes like indie rock and to kind of did Blink One Eight Two and stuff. So I was like, oh, like someone who enjoys some similar music. So uh, I kind of said, hi, how you doing? No, you uh, didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. The I didn't first thing he said was, hey, indie rock lover, who are your favourite bands? <laughs> I, I thought I'd be straight to the point because that was that's what I was about really. Um, and then, yeah, we, we kind of talked for a while on Tinder, messing back and forth. Yeah, um, um, I think it was like a week until we actually met up in person. Um, yeah, we two weeks, maybe? One, one or two weeks, so okay. it was something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, one thing that made Rob different from like all the other people I'd spoken to was that he was actually replying back to me and it was like an actual, like an actual conversation. Like, it wasn't like, like just for a hookup or something. Um, I kind of believe it's, it kind of is and it isn't the future of dating. Like, um, obviously it's good to see people in person, but um, I think it's a lot easier to meet people from apps like Tinder. Like, you're just doing it in your spare time, like from the comfort of your home. And it kind of builds a relationship to meeting a person in real life. Cities are really busy. <laughs> and you just walk past people. It's just easier. No, I don't think Tinder's a future of dating because I don't think you can really get to know someone as well as you'd like through Tinder. So I think that the people who you match with aren't really necessarily, uh, you're not really as compatible for each other as like, as you don't, you can't really make a proper connection through Tinder. I think that you can meet people like face to face and you'll get the same thing as you'll get on Tinder, but on Tinder you think people use it more for fun. Rather than, I know a few people that have got relationships because of it, but I don't know, like two people out of like 50 people that have done that. Um, I think online dating, like apps like Tinder will be, whether or not Tinder will be the one, I don't know.